In this lesson, we are going to examine the relationship between marginal product and marginal cost. When dealing with marginal product, we take a look at the relationship between outputs and inputs. Marginal product is the extra output that can be produced by using one more unit of the input. For example, will the marginal benefit of hiring another worker outweigh the marginal cost? Marginal cost deals with the relationship between costs and outputs. Marginal cost is the change in total cost that arises when the quantity produced changes by one unit. Marginal cost at each level of production includes any additional costs required to produce the next unit, the next quantity of output. When marginal cost goes down and then up, it is because of the law of diminishing marginal returns. When units are cheap, our costs will be low and our productivity will be high. So once again, when units are cheap, our costs will be low and our productivity will be high. When each worker adds less and less and less, the firm will still have to pay that worker their wage. So additional output is less, but the costs will continue to rise. In this example, we are going to examine the relationship between the supply curve and the marginal cost curve. As you can see, both curves are upward sloping. And we take a look at just the general supply curve. We are taking a look at an industry, such as General Motors in the automobile industry. When we take a look at the marginal cost curve, we're taking a look at one individual firm, such as one individual General Motors plant that would be producing cars. So as you can see, if a firm wants to produce more output, they will have to increase their costs. Similar to what you learned about the law of supply. In order to increase your quantity supplied, it's going to cost the business money. We call this per unit cost when dealing with the firm and the marginal cost curve. 